sleeping beyond the stars once again still would be really peaceful, but man, that would hurt your back being laid upon that concrete there, buddy. So welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2, where last time we got a ton of green stars, some of which were very annoying to grab. It's gonna be the common thing from this here on out, man, come on. And this time, we're finishing out World 4 by going to the Bowser. There was one more. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I I thought I cleared out Starshine Beach. Apparently, I, I don't know why I thought there was two stars here. Uh, my bad. I broke my rule of trying to finish out a galaxy before the end of the episode. Uh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was two. That, that was really my bad. Uh, I guess I'll have to make a disclaimer. <laughs> it's it, it shouldn't be that bad. I have no idea where this thing is. Actually, I do know where this is. It's on top of the bounty boy over there. I already see it. Yes, it is. All right. Cool. I guess we're getting a uh, a surprise starshine beach because I completely forgot that there was a third star here and I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, so. This is what happens when you get to the third episode of a recording session because uh, I, I mentioned it in other LPs, but the way I record these videos are in three episode batches. So what video you're seeing here is the last video of my three episode batch that I record in one day, so. Usually what happens is that I get kinda, I don't get tired, but, what, man, very crooked. This, I don't get tired, more say, or, yeah, I don't get tired or anything like that, but what I do get is, um, my mind kinda gets foggy sometimes because I'm thinking about a lot of different things at the same time, and so later on in the episode I'll get like, okay, well, just, now I don't know what happened. Everything's been a blur, but I'm I'm fine. It's it's fine. Uh, I don't I remember how we get the cloud suits. I think we just go through here. Also, at least I can demonstrate. When you shake, he uh, Luigi uses a lot more air than Mario does, so it's kind of annoying. It you're not swimming that much in the game, anyways. It, really, you would only see that difference if you're in like. Uh, slimy Spring Galaxy. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, again, there's just not a lot of swimming. We. Yeah, man, I, I really do apologize. I, I try to make it a point to have all of the galaxies in one episode if I can try to, because I know a lot of, uh, I know some people will be following along, and I know it's gonna be annoying if, like, say I go part way through a galaxy and then the next episode doesn't come up to another two days or whatever. Yeah, I, I just, I try to make it simpler for you guys. I, I apologize for that. Well, I, I don't apologize for making it simpler. I apologize for being an idiot and forgetting that there was another star. So we just want to jump up here and use our cloud suits to reach to the skies. Man, this is really high up, holy crap. At least it was a simple one. Took a little bit of time, but it was simple. Over to Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. It is kind of a shame that they never put any of the green stars during the boss fight. I guess it would be really annoying too, but I don't know, I guess it'd be kind of cool. I see one already. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. Yeesh. I think one of them is really easy though. Okay, why did I already hear it when I went, oh, because I went past that area. So it's on top of, okay, so it's further up. Let's, let's see. I'm hoping that we can get 200 stars today. That would be really good. I I'd love to see that if we can get that, because, uh, well, uh, oh god. Ooh, gross. <laughs> because that means we're in the, uh, well, we're still in the triple digits, but we're 200 of that, I guess. I don't know. Really awkward place, but here we are. Back to the gravity gauntlets. And, well, this place never changes, so we can just go back to the first instance. Yay! Tss, I have no idea where the second one is. I think... I want to say it's near the, where the combat metal is, but I'm not too sure. I, I don't know. Uh, Luigi, you are so weird. I always hesitate when I'm playing with Luigi because I never know how far or how quick he's going to be. He's very much of an oddball when it comes to that. I'm very much used to Mario, but I'll get used to Luigi and then 
<laughs> then I'll have to swap back to Mario, and then Mario's gonna feel weird, so. Yeah, so it's like, is it up here? No. Okay, I thought it was there. Oh god, I, my ass is on fire, no! Alright. Thankfully, there's a coin block. Or, well, a coin that flew out of that block. Okay, stop moving. Jesus. Alright, let's go up here. I'm gonna burn my ass again. No! I did not hold up, but okay. Can I just, like, not burn my ass in a stupid way? Because, well, that time it was because Luigi slid into it because of his stupid slippy shoes. Man, it lines up with grease or something, I swear. Alright. Let's keep on moving. Uh, how did I not get hit by that fireball? Oh, God. Well, let me get that coin at least. Alright. Jump over here. So, where is this? St uh. Okay, I hear it. I want to say it's near the swamps? You know what? I think it is, because I think you have to wall kick off of the wall to get it. I'm, I want to say that's the case. I don't know. It's been a very long time since I went through all of these green stars in my self screen. Cheap, cheap. Can I kill you? I can. Wow. Okay. I kept spinning there and nothing was happening. I might need to change the boat. There it Batteries on the weird mode. Alright. Yeah, so... Actually, I might just be able to get it by jumping off the question block here. Uh, oh yeah, easily. If I can land on it. Uh, there we go. This is, it's like, I'm being an idiot. Sheesh, we're already on World 5, which means... God, yeah, this the game's gonna be coming to a close soon. Which is kind of terrifying. Now, I mean, granted, there is World S, and World S easily has the worst green stars out there. Those ones are really difficult to get, but... We're done with more than half of the game again. Now on over to Space Storm. And Space Storm is probably going to take the longest amount... Or not Space Storm. World 5 is probably going to take the most amount of time, because... A lot of the galaxies here have three stars in total, so... I already hear one. Where? I think I know where one of them is. Uh-huh. Yep. Alright, right off the gate. That's... wow. And the only time we ever see pole stars. Yeah, kind of sad. These things were like a huge thing in Galaxy 1. Alright, so... We want to do this... Try to no. Try to no. You want to try to fling yourself past the star? Oh God! It. This one's really annoying to get. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm close to it. Uh, yeah, this one's really awkward to get because you have to kind of avoid the launch star itself while also getting enough height. Oh God! All right. Maybe it'd be easier if I like flung myself from here. If I don't land in the stupid launch star. Jesus. Alright. Let's try to, like, do something here? Uh. Come on. Yeah! That one's hard to get. Well, not really hard. It's just awkward. It's really awkward. Back in Space Storm. Hopefully we can find where the other two are. I have no idea where they are. This is fine. I think World 5 does have my least favorite galaxies in it, because, I mean, it has the Squizzard level, it has Space Storm, which I'm not much of a fan of, really. Uh, what else? It has the Boo Moon Galaxy, which, one, looks pretty, but is also annoying, in my opinion. This <laughs> is... So, uh, can I get all these now? Okay. I mean, at least they bring back the Bowie Bass music, but still, I, I just, I don't really care about this galaxy too much. Uh... I, I want to see if I could just... Yeah, I could have just skipped through that. Wow. Okay. So, you can already see the green stars way past there. Yeah. This is going to be... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Stop taking me, bro. All right. I just want to slow this down and open this, which, for some reason, the gates are not affected by time. So... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Which... Where do I go for this? Okay, hold on. I want to try to go first person. It's not going to let me because I'm on a go. There we go. Far right. All right. So we want to take the far right most bu- Not that one. Far right most bubble. No, Jesus. Take me into your loving arms, please. 
interested in it. Yeah, that was a cool, oh, the second one's right there. This might be number three then, if the, the other one's right there. And yeah, that was number three. They just put the two right beside each other, so. All right, Space Storm wasn't too bad. The only reason I don't like Space Storm is just because of the atmosphere, <laughs> like, and I, I don't dog on it too much because it's the only galaxy in this game like that, at least that we have. There's a lot of other galaxies in Galaxy 1 that are like that, like Deep Dark and Bowie Base and Battle Rock, so that's why I'm a lot more harsher on those levels because there's so many of those levels from Galaxy 1. In this game, it's really only like this and I guess the final level really because that's the only other part that has like the spire thing. But still, I just I just don't like gloomy looking levels like this. It's a cool concept. I do like it. It's just uh, I'm just not much of a fan of those kind of levels. So can I? Ooh, gonna be awkward. I think what I need to do is I need to slow down time and then jump on the gate like that. So let's uh, see if I can do that. I don't know if we can walk it off of. Oh, I can. Okay, that made it simple. You can either do that or you can go to the top where you, I think you're normally supposed to go and just walk down, but this is a lot easier. A lot of different galaxies to choose, but I went with Boo Boon in this case because I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not a fan of Boo levels, so I might as well just get rid of the stuff that I don't like. Oh God, I remember how hard these ones are. Oh no. Oh God, yeah, I remember how difficult some of these are. I mean, one's at the end of the level there. But, ugh, God, okay. I guess uh, another thing, uh, I was talking about the Nintendo Direct, I think two episodes ago, when I was talking about Zelda and all that. One thing I forgot to mention was that Donkey Kong Country Returns is getting an HD port to the Switch, which, how did that not come up sooner with Tropical Freeze being there? Like, seriously. Now, I played a bit of Donkey Kong Country Returns. I've never beaten a uh, Donkey Kong game because those games are hard, but, um... I'm, ex I'm, I'm really excited about Returns. I've thought about doing an LP on that game eventually. I don't know when, but it was actually very much in close consideration before, uh, what was it? Yeah, because it was in close consideration after Earthbound, but I chose against that and went for Galaxy 2 because it was a long time since we did a Mario game. But now that that's coming to the Switch, at least I can, if I do end up planning to LP that game, I can do it with a better quality. So, more games to the Switch. Make the Switch the global empire it already is for Nintendo games because it has basically everything for the most part right now. Uh, I mean, it's not convenient for a lot of things, but especially Pokemon games because yeesh. All right, so I want to see if this green star is the first one or if this county is number two. This one's kind of weird because you have to... Okay, uh, let me rotate this over. You kind of have to like do a weird hop in there. Yeah, yeah there we go. I, I, my, oh my god, there is one in the poison. Ah, that's number two then. Uh, I remember why I don't want to do this level. <laughs> it's because there's one out in the poison swamp where the pink thing you have to follow. And that one sucks. It's basically like the secret star, but worse because it's even further out. Ugh, all right. All right, I'll deal with it. At least I remember the path to the launch star. I don't know how I always remember how to get there, but it's just, it's not really much to say about that planet anyways. Uh, I mean, at least after this bit, it should be easy, but God, I do not like this bit. Like, now knowing me, knowing me, what'll happen is I'll complain about it and then I'll get a first try. And the things that aren't supposed to be hard it take me multiple attempts because uh, that's how my life works for some reason, seriously. Like, there's been so many times in, not just this LP, in other LPs where it's like, it's supposed to be really freaking difficult, and then I just do it first try. Uh, I, I am the most inconsistently consistent person. Like, or I guess consistently inconsistent? I guess that's, at, at that point, it's just cons inconsist inconsistency. I... Yeah, that was, uh, that was very inconsistent of you. Screw you, stupid freaking mirror. Just trying to jump over it. Didn't think I needed to spin. I needed to spin. 
Uh, uh, I mean, at least they give you three one-ups, so no matter what, you're getting a bonus of one-ups, so I guess it's not that much. Because every time you die, as long as you're taking those music notes, you're getting two one-ups per pop, so easily grind some one-ups here. Alright, don't get hit by the Octaboo. I think that's what it's called. I'm not too sure. I want to call them Octaboos, though, because that sounds funny. Don't get hit by the Octaboos. You can spin to make them invisible for a short time. That's about it. Okay. So where in the hell is this green star? All right, so I know I need to follow this. This makes it even more awkward because Luigi... Oh, God. All right. And then... Ugh. Where is this thing? I hear it. Uh, don't, I do not like this. Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, God, it's over there. Land it, please. No, <laughs> come on. I don't want to be here anymore. <sighs> Why must you be so rude, game? Look, at least I know where it's at, so it's not that bad, but... Geez. It's it's more difficult with Luigi because if you stop, he slips like a damn slip and slide. So it I would almost not recommend if you're having a lot of trouble with this to swap to Mario just for this one because he doesn't slip around, so you can kind of take your time a little bit through the area. But with Luigi, you have to be really damn careful because he'll just slide into stuff. So hopefully. I can get this. At least I broke my streak of if it's hard, I get a first try because that did not happen. All right. So at least I know where it's at. Oh, oh what the balls! He even saw, too, that the game was trying to correct my path and it just said, nah, screw you, you're going to fall off anyways. <sighs> As I said before, if I take too long on one star, I will skip ahead until I get the star. This one's just hard. This one's just really hard. Again, unnecessarily. So, it is what it is. At the very least, I will finish out this galaxy. I won't be stupid like I did with Starshine Beach. For, I don't know why I forgot about that star, but whatever. That was the star that I was thinking that showed up on the first instance, but apparently not. Okay. It's just, oh my god, no. Jesus, how did I get through that? Okay, this is... Okay, just calm down. Get the damn star. This is a Mario game. This game is meant for, like, 10-year-olds at most. Oh, god. Well, apparently I am not better than a 10-year-old. Why do I have to suck? Why? Why am I terrible at this game? I mean, there's been a lot of cool things I was able to show off, and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that good at this game, but I mean, at least I could say I'm not incompetent. At this point, I might as well be incompetent. <laughs> like, jeez. Uh, again, at least we're getting a buffer of plus two one-ups every. What the? What was that? Sometimes I just gotta learn to shut up, cause that's when bad things happen. <laughs> like. Uh, Alright, fine. I'll stop complaining. I'm sorry. It's just... This crap is so outrageous that I just can't even believe... I shook the... I gotta change the batteries on this. Because it's... Yep, it's doing the delay thing again. Alright, well, at least I know the solve to that, which is just change the batteries. Because, like, are the batteries even low? It's one ball... <sighs> Maybe I should just, I don't know, or just swap the battery brands that I'm using because that's, I think, what's causing the issue. I am not backflipping, but okay, I'm not going to get the one-ups. Oh, I did. Yeah, because uh, it's been a little delayed just from this episode and last episode, but now it's starting to get bad. And I know what happens if it gets really bad, so I think it, it might just be because of the weird mode. It's like... Oh, you're not getting enough charge now because it's lower than a bar, or not a bar, but it lost a bar of the battery gauge, therefore I'm going to start killing you for no reason. Alright, let's jump over here. Alright, turns up here. That's what always flips me up, is when it turns. Okay. So, spin into you. 
And then, no, get out the, uh, get out of the way. Okay. Thank God. Okay, this it spun when I wanted to spin. Uh, we're out of hell. We're out of the purgatory. Uh, what are you exclamating for? You've been through a. Shut up. Shut up, you big purple idiot. Shut up. That is why that skipped his name to that. <laughs> Alright, at least there's only one more star here. They're all in the same instance, thankfully. Let's just go to Great Star 1. Because I have to go through the poison field ag again. <laughs> ah, Alright, I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really don't mean to complain that much. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's mostly just for comedic effect, but yeah, I know some people don't really like that. Sorry. <sighs> it, spin damn. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm changing the freaking batteries after this. The batteries aren't even low. But again, that's, I think, what the case is. Because uh, back when in the main journey, like when we were dealing with squizzards and stuff, I really do think it was the weirdo would just be buggy and just doing inputs that should not be doing. Because ever since I changed the batteries on it, it was fine. And now it's starting to do delayed spins again. So, I guess that's what it is. I Makes no sense to me. I I mean, I guess it makes sense to somebody. I, I mean, I am using a third-party Wii Remote because uh, Wii Remotes are kind of hard to get by these days. So, maybe that's part of the reason? I don't know. But, I digress. I'll do that in between... Uh, this uh, well, yeah, I'll do it in between this episode and next episode because this is gonna be annoying, and I do not want to deal with the console turning itself off. Because uh, yeah, that was not a system issue, by the way, too. I think I mentioned it, but I did open up that system or er, open up my Wii U just to make sure it wasn't overheating or nothing. But yeah, no, it was completely fine. It was not the Wii U at all. I think what was happening is that the Wii Remote I'm using was doing an input of the power button without my consent, because uh, I was not pressing power button at all, so. I digress, I just rambled my way all the way over here. So this one's kind of weird too, because you have to like, do some, you have to like, oh no, it's just, it's right here. You just long jump off the side of this into the star. There we go. That is a cool background, with the one up in the center too. Well, I didn't get to beat my streak of 200 stars. That will be accomplished next episode. But, you know what? 198, good enough, right? So, anyways, after all of that pain, I'm going to end things off there. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll be trying to clear out the rest of World 5, hopefully. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.